This is part two of our how to build an EXS24 kit tutorial. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is load up some hi-hat samples. So the same process as last time. I'll bring the edit window to the front and we'll create a new zone. And we'll call this hats. And we'll load a sample. Once we browse back to our sample menu, we're going to start auditioning. Same as we did last time, select a file, then click the play button. And we've got some open hi hats down here. So I think we'll stick with this original set uh, where they've got hi-hat O for open and then original. So uh, we're choosing down here R2. So we need the closed version of that. So let's go back up to the closed versions. So we'll take R3. We'll open that. Create a new zone. And we'll load up its open partner. Which was down the bottom, and that's R3. Okay, and we'll open that. So let's give that a quick name. And call it hat open so we know which one's which. And same process as last time, we need to assign those to one specific key. So we click in the key range and push up or down to narrow the key range down. So with our closed hat, we're going to put that here on F sharp 1. And with our open hi hat, put that on A sharp 1. Again, we need to disable the pitch and make them both one shots. Now one of the cool things about drum programming is with hi-hats you normally have the open hi-hat and the closed hi-hat unable to play at the same time. So you get that squelch sound when you move from an open hi-hat to a closed hi-hat. So what we need to do with that is make a group. So the first thing we do is create a new group. And we give that group a name in the same way. So we'll call this hats. We'll go back to all zones and we'll add those to that group. So if you look here under this group list you can see that they're ungrouped at the moment. So we'll group those into the hats group. Okay, we've got a, a group now with just the two hats in it. Okay, and now we need to set the group settings. Now, if you come along here, you'll see that you've got polyphony as a setting. Now, with maximum polyphony, it will play as many simultaneous samples as your computer's got the power to do. But what we want to do here is limit it so that it'll only play one sample out of this group at any given time. So we'll take that polyphony and make that just one. Let's go back to our zones, all zones, and then we've got our hi-hats. Now, if we hit the open hi-hat and then very quickly after that hit the closed hi-hat, you should hear that hi-hat squelch sound because they can't play at the same time. Okay, we've done a little bit more work, so we'll have another save. Okay, we called it Gold Baby Kit before, so we'll call it Gold Baby Kit again, so it overwrites our first sample. I can't type. It's going to ask us if we want to replace that kit, which we do because obviously we worked on a little bit more and we don't need the earlier version. So we'll replace that and then hit save. Brilliant. Okay. And that's the end of part two.